Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing another girly haul. So I have some things I want to show you, some vintage things, some clothing, and yeah, if you're interested, then keep on watching. First, I'm going to start with this vintage hat box I found at a thrift store for about $5. Look at how gorgeous this floral detailing is. It is kind of small, but I just thought it was so cute. I don't know what I want to put in it yet, but I just thought it was really nice. Good quality, you know, it's still in good shape. I don't know how vintage it is, but it is just adorable and I had to pick it up. Next, I wanna show you everything I got from Indiana. My boyfriend and I, we did a little weekend trip to Indiana and it was really fun. We had never been there, so we did a lot of antiquing and I got some things, so I wanted to show you that first. First and foremost, I found some vintage makeup. This is actually a vintage cold cream and it's the Grada's, I might be saying this wrong, cold cream from Stein Cosmetic Co. And it is such a cool container. And I, the reason I really wanted to get this is because it is very similar to my Stein's face powder that I found a while back. And I love this. So when I found this one, I was like, I have to get it so they can match. But I think this is from the 20s as well. And I love how it says for the stage for the boudoir at the bottom. And there's nothing inside, but I was just so excited. So I'm glad to add this to my collection. That was $15. I also found a vintage foundation. This is the Pond Makeup Pat. And it is in the shade Brunette House. Stunning is this. I love the milk glass uh, carton or milk glass container and it actually is brand new. It has the original little words here. It says apply Pond's makeup pat with a sponge that's moist, not wet. Do not let the cake become waterlogged. Do not leave moist sponge on cake. And it's just funny because I feel like nowadays we don't call foundation cake or cakey because that's what people don't want to hear. But look at it, it's brand new. And let's compare it to the Pond's Makeup Pat I got a few years back, maybe a couple years ago. And it is in the shade Natural and this one is not new. It has a bunch of scratches into it. But let's compare the shade Natural to Brunette. I feel like they're similar but Brunette's a bit darker but you can definitely tell this one's brand new and this one is definitely used or scratched into but this i can't remember how much this was but this one that i just got was actually seven dollars and it's brand new and it's from the 40s i believe both of these ponds makeup pads are from the 40s i believe so that is just super cool. I'm excited to add this one to my collection. And then I also got some vintage lipsticks. I got this True Lipstick from Estee Lauder. It's this gold packaging. I don't think these, the two lipsticks that I got are that old. This one is Candid Coral and it is a gorgeous, corally, like bright red. And yeah, I don't know, maybe from the 90s, I'm going to guess. It's not that old, but it's still really pretty and I could not help myself. And then there was also at the same stand, like same antique store, I found this Elizabeth Arden Luxury Lipstick. And I absolutely love the packaging of this. I actually already have one from uh, about a year ago. And this is in Mauve Dreams, the one I already have. And I just thought the packaging was really pretty. I think this is also from the 80s or 90s. And this one is in pink coral. And it's a similar corally color, but a little bit more on the pink side. Oh, so cute. I love these lipsticks. So I was so excited to add another luxury lipstick from Elizabeth Arden to my lipstick collection of vintage lipsticks and then also this is my first Estee Lauder lipstick I believe so yeah I was excited to find those vintage lipsticks this is random but I found this spoon rest and so the weekend or two before Randy and I went to Rock City in Chattanooga Tennessee 
and we and then we went to Indiana and we found this in Indiana at an antique store and it was just funny because we had just been here so it's the lover's leap and it was just cute and we don't have a spoon rest and I've been wanting to get one and I thought this was so cute it's like pink and it has the mountain drawing there so it says it's made in Japan I could not find it online I couldn't find this exact one but it's like a little souvenir spoon rest and so odd we found it in Indiana but I was excited to get this and use it as a little spoon rest and then this one's kind of silly but in Indiana I found the My Fair Lady Barbie doll and I could not help myself it is Eliza Doolittle as Barbie or Barbie as Eliza Doolittle and look at her oh my gosh i absolutely love my fair lady i love audrey hepburn so i could not help myself when i saw this so let's open it up here she is oh my gosh and like look at the gorgeous imagery of audrey hepburn but this is the most iconic movie dress like ever i feel like i'm gonna have to insert a clip of this because i feel like it's not uh showing it perfectly but i absolutely love the doll i love the dress and i love the movie i just i don't know i saw it and i had to get it so that is another thing i got and it comes with her gorgeous hat the dress the parasol it's just so stunning this one is random but at an estate sale i found this gorgeous vintage mirror i'm not gonna like show the actual mirror part because it'll blind you but the bottom here is so cute it's like this floral detailing and I thought it was really a nice piece for $4 and I wanted like a mirror like this. The only problem is the mirror part itself is very dirty. I thought I was going to be able to clean it a little bit better but either way I think it was worth $4 and it's a cute little mirror. I got this vintage postcard. I thought it was so cute. It has little forget-me-not flowers on here with a gold border and it says best wishes and it's just this cute vintage postcard it's my first ever vintage postcard but i always appreciate these and i always want to start a collection so this is my first one some clothing i picked up so these are both things i got in indiana at a boutique i found this gorgeous yellow dress and look at how stunning it is has kind of like polka dots and like a paisley print on it i don't know how to explain it but it's such a pretty detail like such a pretty pattern and i could not pass it up i love this color yellow for spring and summer and i just had to get it so this is just from a boutique in indiana And then at a clothes mentor, I believe it was in Indiana, so a like thrift store, um, I found this romper that I was so excited to find. Brand new with the tags. I got it for $12.99. I can't remember what I got this dress for. I think it was like 50 something dollars. But this I got for $12.99 and it's brand new with the tags, $58 originally from the brand Ensemble. And look at this, it has the gorgeous puff sleeves. It is the perfect shade of pink and I absolutely love rompers like this, so, or rompers in general. So I'm so excited, $12.99. I was like, yes, I will wear this so much this summer. That was it for Indiana, but I did end up going to a Bridgerton event, which was so fun. It was like a spring market, and they kind of had it Bridgerton themed. I was so excited, and here is me. They had like a little portrait part where you could get a Polaroid picture. Look at how fun. I was having such a fun time at this Bridgerton event. First, I won this hand fan. Like, come on. It is so pretty. It was free, but I was excited to add it. I only have one other fan. This one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this one. But this is, even though it's, you know, probably a cheaper one, I still 
love the detail of it so i was excited to get this i got this gorgeous tea towel that they sold there look at how stunning it is so gorgeous it says lady whistle down tea house oh i love the imagery spilling the tea since 1813 lady whistle down tea house london england And then lastly, I got this rug. It is so stunning. I don't know the brand of it, but I found this gorgeous bow rug. And it's kind of like a bath mat, but you could also just use it as a little rug. I'm gonna use it as a rug in the girly bathroom, but it's this gorgeous Bridgerton blue. And I am obsessed with this little rug. So I got that at the Bridgerton event as well. Yeah, I think that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this random little girly haul. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.